Hello? I have one question for you. Just one question. Have you subscribed to Yvonne channel? Yes, I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. Just subscribe. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. He's telling me that he needs to subscribe to Yvonne channel. Yvonne channel. Who man has subscribed? I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed. They have subscribed. What are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and the notification bell. I know you will do it. Thank you. I will stand here and trade what with you. God knows it. You are nothing but a thorn in my flesh. God knows it. My life will have been better without you. I, I know the right thing to do. But I will have done it if not, if not for these children. If not for these children, what would you have done? Eh? Oh! You would have sent me packing. Is that not? Go ahead. Send me packing. I will take my two children to their real father and then you will know how empty and useless you are. What did you just say? You heard me. Daddy. Who is your daddy? What? Mm, please help me with my homework. Take it to your mother. I'm busy. Well? <laughs> You can believe whatever you like. But as you can see, what you chose to believe is what is driving you crazy. DNA test? My husband said that. Hello, sir. You just returned, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, dear. Okay. The pastor just called. Oh, good. He has told you. Dear, why? Why what? I told you I was sorry. I told you it was okay. Then, why are you taking this step? Just to be sure. That means you don't trust me. Of course I do. I just want to be sure. Sure of what? I want to be sure that I trust you. Amelo Jean Penta D. Pentad. Sorry, I don't understand all these medical terms. Yeah, you recently conducted a DNA test at our center. Oh, yes, I remember. And um, you sent the test result via email. That's exactly why I'm calling you. I'm afraid the test result we sent to you was the wrong one. All right. Um, Bro Williams. Daddy and I discussed something during our flight here. Don't you think carrying out another DNA test will help resolve this matter? I don't understand, ma. I mean, you and the children should go to a new DNA center and conduct a fresh test. We have agreed to bear the cost of this fresh test. Um, what's your relationship with this man? None. I had never met him before today. Uh, actually, uh, I decided to follow him here because I noticed that the other bike riders were trying to turn the case against him. Ah. That is the woman? Ah! I have a confession to make.
Oh, thank you very much. Sir, your phone has been ringing on your table all day. You forgot to go with it. No, no, no. I intentionally left it behind. I didn't want any distraction at the extraordinary board meeting. Okay. You have several missed calls, sir. All from one corner. Really? Yes, sir. Thank right, you. Sir. My pleasure. Yes. Eleven missed calls. <sighs> Mr. Obi, what does this man want from me again? What? Whenever he calls, it is to share one bad news on the other. <sighs> I'm not ready for this this morning, I beg. What does this man want from me again, eh? Ha! Hello? Hello, sir. This is Mr. Aobi, CSO. Yes, I know. Please, what's the matter this time? I hope it's not another bad news. Sir, it's something important and very urgent. It's a matter of life and death. Ha! Please, go ahead. I'm listening. I need to see you one-on-one, -on -one, sir. What you just said is a matter of life and death. Yes, sir. Yet it can wait till you see me. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then that, that means it's not really urgent then. Ah, it is, sir. It's just that uh, it's better discussed one on one, sir. In that case, can you come and see me in the office tomorrow morning by 11 a.m.? I'm about to close it for the day. Ah, that will be too late. Uh, please, sir, can I check on you at home? Um, 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 uh, please, uh, please give me a little time. Um, can you call back in 15 minutes? Mm, yes, sir. That's all right. What is it?
Um, did he give you any hint about what he wants to see you for? I mean, is it about you and your wife? He didn't, sir. And I didn't ask him. He only said it is important and very urgent. Uh, well, I wouldn't advise that you are lying to see you at home. I have my reasons. Uh, let him see you in the office. Tell him to come over to the office. I already told him that, but he said tomorrow will be too late. Uh, in that case, tell him to come over now. Uh, but, sir... Oh, yes. You said you told him you were about to close for the day. But as things stand now, you have to make a little sacrifice. You see, you need to hear him out. So, it's better you let him come over. Well, in the meantime... But, uh, sir, my, my wife, my family, they will all be waiting for me. Oh, yes, I was coming to that. You see, in the meantime, please give your wife a call and explain everything to her. And then beg for her understanding. Uh, if she agrees, well, let Mr. Obi come over. Uh, you never can tell how truly urgent and important what the matter he wants to see you for is. Hmm? That's all right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yes, Mr. Obi. What is the matter this time? Sir, I'm here for two reasons. <laughs> Another confession? Yes, sir. You see, the last time I came to your house with Pastor... B. Yes, sir. <laughs> Pastor B. I confessed and told you the whole truth. I knew about the paternity of your two children, remember? Yes. And uh, what you told us was the truth, right? Oh. Please allow me to pick this call. It's something important and very urgent. To you, everything is important and very urgent. Receive your call. Thank you, sir. Hello? Hey, hey. Hey. There. My dear. Sir. I hope all is well. All is not well. In fact, nothing is well. Why? Dear, can you believe this is all I made? In my shop in a whole day. Uh, what's the problem? The problem is that I used to make at least 10 times of this on a normal day. And that's even on days when things are not too good. But look at the paltry sum I made today. These poor sales, they've been going on for a while, you know. But today is the peak. I've never had it this bad. Just take a look. Take a look at this. Uh, no problem. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. How can you say there is no problem? When there is clearly one. Look at how much I made. Well, if you insist that's a problem, then I want to believe the problem has to do with the poor economy. It has affected everybody. No, I don't want to hear that. It's not the economy. Then what is it? It is that woman. That woman who just opened a shop not so far from mine about a month ago. Um, uh, the one you said named that shop Stop and Pick. Exactly. Stop and Pick. She stole all my customers. You won't believe that a week after she opened, all my customers, including my very old ones, they stopped purchasing from me and they started going to her shop to buy from her. That could be because her shop is better stop. What are you saying? What are you saying? You know, you know my shop now. It's one of the best stock shops in that market. Then it could be because our prices are cheaper. No, prices of goods in the market are within the same range. We sell almost at the same price. I know what that woman did. I know what she did. She's using Juju to snatch all my customers. Juju? Yes, charm. Listen, Eunice, do what I said. I said, wait till I come. Is that too hard for you to understand? No, just wait. Good. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, that was my younger sister, Eunice. 
the same Yunis? Yes, sir. Your former schoolmate. In fact, that is the second reason why I'm here. Uh, but to the first one. Sir, since the last time I confessed and uh, told you the whole truth, hey, my mind has not been addressed. Why not? Something keeps telling me I have one more confession to make. Go on, I'm listening. Uh, uh, that thing keeps saying to me, confess your sins and surrender your life to Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Obi, what you call a thing is actually not a thing, but the Holy Spirit of God. Ah, the problem is that I don't know how to go about it. Oh, 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 I, I will gladly teach you how. Are you ready to confess your sins and surrender your life to God now? That's why I'm here. Good, good. You see, in Romans chapter 10, verse 10, the Bible says, For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. You see, what the Bible is trying to say there is that uh, you have to confess with your mouth. And my dear, that jam is a very potent one because you won't believe that after she opened, all my customers, including my old customers, they come to the front of my shop. We exchange greetings and in the end, they go ahead to buy the exact things I'm selling in my shop. In that woman's shop, customers are always bombarding her shop. They don't mind staying in a crowd under the sun just to purchase from her. No doubt, she's using a jam. No, no, <laughs> that's not possible. You told me she's a pastor's wife. That was what she called herself when we first met. But that doesn't change anything. Anybody can call him or herself anything. As far as I'm concerned, that woman, she's fetish. I know the God that I serve. Her secrets will be exposed. Ashiriye, Omatsu. In that market, oh, Ashiriye, Konibo. Ashiriye, Atsu, my dear. You will hear the testimony. Ashiriye, Omatsu. <sighs> Women. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That is it. You are now born again. Congrats. Just like that. Just like that. You are now free from the guilt of sin. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I have a feeling of freedom. It's like a big load has been lifted off my head. <laughs> that is it. However, what you now have is not just a feeling. It is a reality. The reality of salvation. Thank you, sir. Thanks to God. Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, but you, you said you are here for two reasons. Yes, sir. The other one has to do with Eunice. After that ugly incident involving your family, Eunice and me have been resolved. Eunice called to find out the latest development. And I told her I had revealed the whole truth to you. Eunice was disappointed. She continued to call thereafter to express her displeasure at what I did. Eunice eventually came in yesterday. She traveled down from Lagos where she's based. On arrival. She raised the issue again. Ah, we had a hot discussion. No, 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 brother. You shouldn't have done that. I told you the terrible things that useless, God forsaken man did to me. How he took my heart high up the mountain only to drop it and make it shatter into many irreparable pieces. I told you I messed up my future. I told you. I, I, I... Yes, Eunice. You told me these are more. Uh, you know how I went all out to help you to destroy his family, as requested. Uh, but an event overtook our actions. I told you everything. Yes, brother. But that is not enough reason for you to abandon me in my predicament. No, I did it. And I will never abandon you. Ah. Eunice, you are my only surviving sibling. 
I cannot forget how our mother lost three of her five children to a fire incident in one night, leaving only you and I behind. See, I cannot forget how I promised to f take good care of you, and I've been doing my best. You know it. See, I had to do what I did. Because Mrs. Williams, the wife of that man, had helped me in the past. Uh, you know, one good turn deserves another. What's of one bad turn? What does one bad turn deserve? Uh, uh, you are in the best position to know that. Because you read the Bible, you are born again. Mm -mm. Me? I'm not. Brother, this is not a matter of born again or not born again. That man broke my heart, and I'm ready to take my own pound of flesh. He mortgaged my happiness, and all mortgage is joy. Simple. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Eunice. For some time now, I've been thinking about my life. Hmm. You've always been preaching to me to accept Jesus, but I'm not taking you seriously. But. I think I've come to a point where I truly need Jesus in my life. Hey, please, show me how. Brother. Eh? <sighs> Brother. Why are you toiling with my emotion? Huh? I shared my burden with you. I mean, what is hurting me so badly? Instead of helping me out, you chose to deviate and bring in something irrelevant. Hmm? Irrelevant? My desire to become born again irrelevant? Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe this. Ah, you've always been preaching to me that the salvation of my soul is the most important. Okay, well. Thank you. Huh. I know what to do. Thank you. She walked out on me. I must confess, I was confused. The thought that I had to confess my sins and surrender my life to Jesus continued to flood my mind. That was why I picked up my phone and called you. Now, I am here. Thanks to God, you are now born again, and that makes you a Christian. Hmm? Mr. Obi, what does Eunice really want? Ah. Happiness. Oh, that? Simple. <laughs> Very simple. And God will make her happy in Jesus' name. Hmm. Unfortunately, Eunice believes only your sadness can make her happy. It is her desire to see your marriage crumble so that she can be happy. And the Lord will not grant her her desires in Jesus' name. Amen. My brother, go back home and talk to your sister. Tell her to come back to Christ. Let her surrender her burdens and let God settle her by his divine power. Tell Sister Eunice to let go of the past and press into the future with faith in God. I will do no such thing. I'm not letting go of any past. Neither am I pressing to any future because Adirola Williams and hi Eunice Obi, I have a score to settle. I will go back to my past with him and fight his future without me. Yes, that fool thinks he can condemn me to the bondage of sorrow while he enjoys the freedom of happiness. Huh? No way, brother. Never it will not happen. Brother, if you know you cannot help me, please, please allow me to fight this battle alone. I have made up my mind. I'm going to destroy that man. In fact, I don't mind going fetish on this matter. Eunice, 
You want to walk out on me again? Imanambu the obara. Bye, Aramu brother. I'm sorry. It is because you have refused to understand me. Understand what? Eh? You want to go fetish? Eh? You want to use diabolical powers to fight a battle? You are a Christian, aren't you? Well, uh, I'm happy to inform you that uh, I'm now born again. I gave my life to Jesus this evening. Uh. Yes, that man led me to Jesus. Who? The man you want to fight with uh, diabolical powers. Oh, now I understand. The reason why you have pitched your tent with him to fight against me. That fool led you to Christ, but led me to a crisis. No problem. By the way, do you know how old I am? Oh, why not? At this age, I have no husband. I no longer get proposal from men. <laughs> Many people think I'm a small girl because of the useful look God gave me. Aha, that is it. See, this same God who gave you this youthful and beautiful look will give you your own husband. Eh, Eunice? Please. Allow peace to reign. Hi! 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 Sorry, oh, my sister. Not be stop and pick with that. Waiting they go on for that shop. What in my eyes see? My mouth not fit up. Ah, waiting your eyes see. Talk am now. Now so one man come talk saying come buy something for the woman shop. He says the woman want come out money for her bag, give her change. Now so one black. As the woman want quickly pick the thing for grab. Now the man ask her, waiting this thing be. As she not greet up. Now so argument comes start. Before you know what they have, trust Nigeria, crowd don't gather. They go ask the woman, say, where thing be the thing when it falls for your glass? They go ask and say, show us the thing. Last life they come discover and say, now nah, chap. Hey! Hey! Sorry never start with the shout. Hey! Now they go enter the woman's shop, come hey. they say. They go see champ for different, different corner for inside her shop. Then they go ask the woman, say, what is this champ there for? The woman not great talk. <laughs> Trust Nigeria. As they won't descend on her, begin knock and better beat it. Now she come confessing her charm. Say the charm now to make people come her show for market. And he come talk, say one of the charm inside eh? he go make everybody when he enter the market, they look for her shop. Ha! Now only her shop, now then go they come. Jesus Christ! I knew it! Ha! I knew it! What did you know? You know if you understand, my dear sister. No worry. Thank you, eh? I do ah. it. Thank you, my sister. Hey, hey. Pastor Mrs. Hey, hey. Pastor Mrs. Juju. Now, ah. <laughs> Pastor Mrs. O. Dear, that was what I saw. <laughs> Ooh, my sweetest darling. Why are you laughing? <laughs> What's funny? Your dream, of course. It was not an ordinary dream. Of course it, it was. Hey, God used it to reveal that woman's secret to me. It was a revelation. No. It was an ordinary dream. It was actually a product of your negative mindset about that innocent woman. Dear, how can you call that woman innocent? Innocent, eh? That woman that is using charms to destroy your wife's business. How can you call her innocent? What proof do you have? That is the problem I always have with you. You never believe anything until you see a proof. I guess that's because I'm a lawyer. We work with proofs. You prove it, I believe it. What of the revelation God showed me? The dream, you mean? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, please, please. Let me fix this thing on time. I need to press some stuffs. I beg. <laughs> oh my I know God. what to do. What? Remember I just hired the new sales girl? Yes. Two days ago. Nobody knows her in the market. 
I will tell Salome to go and spy on that woman's shop. And it has to be this very weekend. Good enough. You remember we are going to the village for the family function. So I won't be opening my shop. That gives me enough time to tell Salome to go and spy on that woman. Very early in the morning. I'm going to tell her to hide in a good corner where she can see the shop very clearly. And see what that woman does in the morning when she's opening her shop. I will give her some money to even approach the shop and buy something from that woman. And while she's at it, she must open her eyes well and look at what the woman is doing inside the shop. I'm sure she will come back with enough information to expose that wicked woman. I'm sure she will have information for me. And you think this is a good idea? Dear, you asked me to prove it. Allow me. Uh. Drink my tea. Can you fix my thing? This. Yeah, but I'm almost through. Ah, well done. Thank you. Um, lunch is ready, I guess. Almost. Almost. This is the second almost I'll be getting from the kitchen department this afternoon. Sorry. Very almost. Ah, what kind of English was that? <laughs> there is nothing like very almost, madam. Because even the word almost means very close. If almost means very close. That means very almost, means very, very close. Whether very almost or almost very or almost very close, it's just get my lunch fast. My intestines are protesting. Ah, sorry, sir. You eat very soon. We are, we are very fast. Sorry, sir. Ah! Everything is right, but feed my food, daddy. Very almost. Hello, sir. Oh. Hello, Mr. Obi. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Yes, uh, Mr. Williams called me yesterday evening to share the testimony of your salvation with me. Uh, yes, sir. I am now born again. Oh, great. I called twice last night to congratulate you, but the calls did not go through. Oh, I'm sorry about that. My phone had a flat battery. Congrats. I pray your Christian journey will not be terminated along the way in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thanks to God. Uh, Mr. Williams told me your sister is still angry with him. Yes, sir. Eunice sounded very bitter. I think she's yet to overcome the pain inflicted on her by Mr. Williams' betrayal. Oh, but that happened so many years ago, right? Yes, sir. Oh. She should have gotten over it and uh, moved on with her life. She did, at least to some extent. Unfortunately, the old wood was reopened when she stumbled on Mr. Williams' DNA results in my office. The issue has since been resolved. Eunice would have none of that. She even vowed to attack the Williams with charms. Really? Yes, sir. Although I did my best to pacify her. Oh, I learned she is currently with you. No, sir. She traveled back to Lagos this morning. Actually, she came in two days ago to spend part of her annual leave with me. Quite strangely, she woke up this morning and told me she was traveling back to Lagos. I tried to talk her into staying back. But her mind was made up. She eventually left. That's all right. I will get back to you on this later. Okay, sir. I hope you have a Bible. Yes, sir. Oh, please, make sure you read it. You see, it will help you to grow in Christ. Mr. Williams told me the same thing. He also encouraged me to prayerfully look for a Bible-believing church near where I live to be attending. Oh, correct. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, sir.
invited you here just to pledge my, my unwavering loyalty and commitment to the relationship between the two of us, as you very well know. I will be graduating in a few weeks. I want you to rest assured that you will always be on my mind. Honestly, I can't wait to take you to the altar. But I have no choice. I have to wait for you to round off your studies too. By God's grace, I will be there for you. I beg, please, don't walk out on me. Hmm. By God's grace, I won't. Brother Derola, you can also count on me that I will keep faith to this relationship. Thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. Adiola Williams, by the time I finish with you, these useless smiles on your faces will disappear. I pray that joy and laughter will never end in your home, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I will make sure you don't celebrate another wedding anniversary with this whore you call a wife. If Jesus tarries, you will celebrate many more wedding anniversaries in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Daddy. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank, thank you, sir. We thank God. Uh, uh, Daddy, we hope you're having a great time in Canada. We thank God. Our ministry work here is profiting God's kingdom. Hallelujah. Daddy, we miss your mommy so much. We miss hope too. We are looking forward to joining all of you very soon. What of your children? They are in their bedroom, sir. Let me invite them to come and greet you, sir. Demi Lade! Yes, mom. Fee! Yes, mom. Come, come and greet Daddy Pastor. Thank you very much, sir. sir we do hope you extend our greetings to mommy. Oh, I will. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that she's having a session with the pastor's wives and uh, female ministers. She should be running off by now. Bye. Okay, sir. thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye sir. Bye, sir. Anything, Baba. Anything you like. Anything at all. Mommy, Ah, Arabin. In Lissin, Catoba Womb. You will all fair no alarm, son, Catoba Fekin. She Baba, Mufeki family, a co badge. I mean, Mufeki be our cotuka. Or a loss as a song. Ah, was as a sorrow, no, eh? Natty tree be a woka. It be say a metal lag be you. It be say a coco, nay, Latty say. Made it oku. I wallo lo se ninu le re lo gajo oru e se oni photo re owo yi to nwa ti yawo re jo ja papo so oni lowo eh ra ra afi to ba lo re phone mi onda eh onda je nwo oni baba ah eyi na da ah what you are learning? And it's only Amen. Ah, hey, who? Sorry, pay for to you, cool, Lori Funore. Titta, if you're buying, can't have fish. Oh, yeah, it's a size. 
<laughs> o mali in ti en rerin o n gbadun gbe yawo re ko je ki wo rili oko duro si eh yan na dan na dan o kan dinu yo like bayi bi pa pa o o o gba na mu ah ah o ka re ba ekuo ekuo bangba la kasi ekuo ekuo bangba la kasi gbere gbere ya ko Bene bene ya ko o mun tu puku o mun tu puku eh bona ki lo ti e ton pe oruko re na eh adirola williams eh adirola william mo fo si anya ma gbe yawo re loni po gbo ton ba sele si photo re yin o na ni ko sele si igbe yawo re lagbara gbangbala kasi amen ki ni fi se ki le fe se ki lo jo loju re eh photo won le mi fe gun lodo lo gan tin ba si ti pari igbese yi igbese e kin ni ati tu igbeyawo won ka pari nu iwo lo lo pari igbese meji to kun le phone temi le le yi eh wo ma mo ba phone re lejo photo won le mi ba lejo ni mo si fe gun lodo n temi ah papa e duro ma mo phone o mi ki lo de o oh, se mani ma se baba sugbon ani lo to phone ma mo photo gidi wa eh beni sir ah se ma ko ama ma sa fun keke lo call to ilan eh ah o ga o mo sha sha no ya ah Ekuo ekuo gbangbala kasi Ekuo ekuo gbangbala kasi Gbere gbere ya ko Gbere gbere ya ko Omuntu kuku Omuntu kuku <laughs> Ah Adirola William mo fo si anya ma igbe yawo re lo ni O gbo ton ba sele si photo re yi lo ne oni ko sele si igbe yawo re lagbara gbangbala kasi Sigba. Sigba. Oya de pada kogbe. De pada kogbe. Ah. Igbe se kan ni ti pari. A o re koja si igbe se ke ja te keta. Iwo lo si igbe awon igbe se na ni le. Oganjo ru o ni lo gbudo gbe lu ru o ni tori igba o gbodo sun le re moju so ti ye o o ti ye bi baba eh e se o le ri odo lagbegbe re odo em ma ri baba odo to nsan ni o ma ri kekere kan ma ri iwo pelu ta le jo ngbeli ko si o emi nikan mo ngbe self contained a o da ba isi ohun ti e rorun fun o lati se ni ajin ajin lo ru oni lo ganjo oru ni je be o gbe igba yi o gbe lodo o lo ju sodo o do gbe lo ri daju wi pe o ba eda laye kan kan soro to fi lo to fi bo 
Nba to ba padadi. To padadi li wonu yara are lo ko lo sun. Ma be ni keni soro. Soro mi yo. Nba. Nba lo mi. Eh. Eh. Lo roku tu hai. Ni feri a fe majuma lo la. Ko to we. Ko si to fi in kaka kaino le. A do ti mo fun o yi. O si. In to wa no le. O da si o wo le. O wa fi a han le. O fi la ogun. To wa no le. Le yi na. O wa gba li adiro la lo. Li da ju pe on lo koko ba soro to ba di be. O kan wi fun pe. O fo ni o. O fo ni su ban bi bo lo un. La san ni o kan li le ti re. Baba, on m'a connu à un ou bel ni y est combi, il bat dans l'ombre bé. Ah! Ah! Qu'est-ce que tu as fait? Il t'a dit qu'il n'y a pas de l'ombre, il n'y a pas de l'ombre, il n'y a pas de l'ombre. Il n'y a pas de l'ombre. Il n'y a pas de l'ombre. Eh... Baba, je n'ai pas de l'ombre, je n'ai pas de l'ombre. Ah! C'est bon. Il n'y a pas de l'ombre. Il n'y a pas de l'ombre. Tim Benny Nuoro, ta ba so sa fe fe. Ko lo di mwa ko si nikbe deke. A di tu to wa nou bo lo ngoro. A wa mari li li a ma agbara le ni nou joba ti wa. Ko sa ti bo bo lo ngoro yi bito fe so fun. Lo batan. Ibe ya wo le fo li sak pa nou. On li, yi kato ou gini. O koto yi li di joko. O koto yi li di joko. Omi o kwen yini se mi. Omi o kwen yini se mi. A jatou kan ta gba ane. A jatou kan ta gba ane. A de rola William. A de rola William. Omi di le re o ni ni se mi. Omi di le re o ni ni se mi. A jatou kan yon ken yon re ati yawo re. A jatou kan yon ken yon wa ati yawo re. Otan. Oui. Ken bo. Abi o yiyo ni. O ye ki ri. O ya, o ya mo bo. O koto e ri di joko. O mi o kon yi ni se mi. A jatou kan ta gba ane. A di rola Williams. O mi di le re o ni ni se mi. A jatou kan yi yo kenyi wu a ti ya wu re. Da ba on, o li re kpe. O da bi a wan kato li wan ti dota. Bi ni ba ak. Tu m'as fait un panique dans mes yeux. Ni deux soli ouin. Eh, oya, parlez de moi. Mais sinon, à quoi m'aurez? Eh, qu'est-ce que tu as fait? Eh, à moi, à quoi qu'il n'y a pas? Eh, oh, ni la tire pas d'avoir de... à te sara. Il t'a dit que tu as fait ça. Quand on t'a fait ça, tu as fait ça. Et quand on t'a fait ça, tu as fait ça. Et quand on t'a fait ça, tu as fait ça. O kpada wa gba a je sara ma dari kan la ro la. O guna an be lo li a do gan i kere gbe. Ma jo kwe ko te te wa la ro la ti ti a gome jo. E to li mo fè ni ni a jo kan lo si ye kwe. A ni e kwa de i gbi ma wa baba la wa a cha dan se ni be. Soro mi ti yo. Kutuba lo. 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 Eh, Baba, si yon lò kò wà fòn mè la bò. Kò ti bò, mà jè ti mi yò di si yò. Eh, yon mà wò lè yò. Mà wò lè yò, rò rà yò. Rò rà yò. Rò rà yò. Mami, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go
Oluwa se ilu ruko mi. Eh iwo lo mo. O ko to ba wo mo lo mo nje ndale. Eh n to wo opira re. Nkan te mi ma ni wipe fase yi tan. Omo opon so to ilu ko te mi so. Eh bona kin lo wa wa bi. Se bi mo ti ni ko mama pa mi wa oju bobo ma. Tori pe gbogbo gba to ba ti wa bi. In se lo ma nbu enu ate enu abuku. N lo ma fe ka mu sami. Eh? Ma binu ba mi. Ba ti mo wa yin wa le ti mi orin ni mo ni ki wa wo yin bi bayi. Ah. And then tori pe nkan ti mo ba wa o gba ko o gba kia kia. Eh. Be ni. Ewo. Any time wo le gbe mi yi. Eh e gbon ni won je si mi. Sugar bi or any wash room to run if any football. Carry him, but that be ye, Kalejai Loko. Ah, or carry over me, so she won't say, Oh, why you will lose your DB. Ah, Rarao, can she, Ugu, no, go on, be you? Oh, I buy you solo pataki coni. Eh, eh, but before that, I buy the Omo Beni Colono, but I'm bo. Oju e jo oju e ni mimo. O da ipe odo yin lo ti kuro. Eh ah be ni. Ah ona ba yo kuro ninu ogun ton jaye re n lo wa wa. Eh Eunice lo po ko ara re. Eunice. O ma ni. Ah. Be ni. Eunice, Eunice. Eunice obi. Eh eh. Ah pe jo ko le gan no. Ah 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 pe jo ko le gan no. Eh eh ba mi. N ba olosun ma wa pada wa bi. Can you 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 ba o le gbo lenu mi ko mu fe fe o se mi lori pataki kan lopo lopo odun seyi mo ni kin dupe lowo en and em gbo wu lu ma pada wa bi o ba je ba en aro la ni mo ni ko tete wa ti ago mejo to lu en ti e gbo na ngba to lu fe ki lo di to fi mu wa di ki lo di to wa di mi ba mi e ja me ni kuro kuro lori yin e ja me ni kuro e wo mo ba boda bi soro nipa yin o de salaye gbogbo igbiyanju mi lati fi mole jesu won yin sugbon pa bo ni gbogbo eja si em ibadan na ti wa ohun wa ba yin soro pataki kan ni nipa jesu abi ai pass mo ki lo de to yin to to yin lati je alagidi alegbon omo na eh mo ti ki lo fun to mo si fun to bo mo ni ko fi mi kale jeje mi won ni lo jesu re won ni lo jesu re pe mo emi ti yondo kan mi fun esulalu esulalu ti mo si yondo kan mi fun o ten lorun eh mo ti fayi mo ti fun gbogbo ara mi mo ti mo ti fun eh ki lo de pase yi fun ibi lorun le fun ibi lorun le sir sheri nkan ti bro ton try lati so ni pe kini ah won o da si o won o da si abi mo koju e ra se se mo bo soro fe mi atoma mi le yi ba si da yi da si o ki lo de oya eyin mejeji Afra. Eh, tiye fou, ah ah. Wo, eh, tiye fou, ah, lalidu. Tiye, ma jade. Ibe, su, lalu. Lo wè, koban fou jou yi mou nan. Mou ni e jade. Eh, ini. Oto, ma mou nan. Show me. Let's go, stop. Let's go. Papa, let's go. And there will be a lot of time. Ma, pe, lalu. Eh, su, lalu, gaye. Koban, se yi, bo, jit.
Good morning. Mm -hmm. It's time for morning devotion. Eh? The children and I have been waiting for you in the living room. Dear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, uh, uh, maybe you have to have not had enough sleep. I just try and excuse me this morning. Go and hold it with uh, the bloody affin. No, dear. Remember, nobody misses family devotions in this house. Eh? You made that rule. Eh? Yeah, I know. But I don't know what is happening. I still, I still feel very, 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 very tired. Whenever you feel too tired to pray, it is an alarm that you really need to pray. Remember? He taught us that too. It is, it is woman. This sleep is just, uh, just came to us first by sleep now. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Stand to sleep uh -huh. That's it. Oh. Huh. Let's go now. Uh -uh. After you. Oh. Let's go. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no dear. Remember? No morning devotion, no fun. I suggested that rule and you approved it. Yes, ma. Thank you. Good Young morning, ma. children. Dimladi, I guess it's your turn to lead the worship. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we declare the goodness? Shall we? Goodness and mercy shall follow us. the days of our life. Oh, the dress of the Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, darling. Yeah, Finn, dim lady. Good morning, how are you? Good All right, let's get to it. Be fast. You do the dishes, you sweep. Let's be fast so you don't get late for church. Let's go, let's go. He's very fast about it too. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How was the night? Bye. After you came to wake me up. <laughs> Your phone is ringing again. Uh, you can pick it up. Private number? Mm. I don't receive calls from private numbers. No. Hello, good morning. What is it? You, you, you won't believe what the caller said on the phone now. What? Ha. Ah. What is it? Ah. What is it? <laughs> Ah. What is it now? What's going on? Yeah. What did they say? Hey. Ah. I strongly suspect the call was from Eunice. Hmm. I strongly believe the call was from Eunice. Ah. Well, that's why we decided to come to you. I'm surprised Eunice 
eventually made her good at try to go fetish on this matter. Um, Brother Obi, what does your sister want from me again? What? Honestly, I don't know. I begged her to forget the past and move on with her life. But... Then why is she hell-bent of seeing my marriage crumble? Why? God forbid it. Yeah, but even if your marriage crumbles, does she think you will marry her? No. I wonder who. Never. God forbid. I reject it in Jesus' name. It will not happen. Our marriage will not crumble in Jesus' name. Amen. That was why I started with God forbid in the first place. I don't know why this girl is proving so stubborn. Eh? Huh? Well, um, we're on our way to church for Sunday service. I'm also preparing for church. Good to hear that. We have informed Pastor B about this latest development. But he's currently out of town on a ministerial assignment by God's grace. We will meet him later in the day when he returns. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. I'm indeed very sorry for the houses my sister is putting you through. That's all right. Thank you. Oh, here she comes. Are you sure she's the one? Very sure. Hello. Hello. Oh, remember me? I think I saw the two of you somewhere recently. Oh, yes, it was here. <laughs> You're correct. Uh, yesterday, my friend and I um, were going to see Baba Oposhoto while you were coming from his place, right? Yes. Uh, that Baba is very powerful. We went to see him for an important matter. And you? Same here. I had a problem that I needed a solution to. Mm. And thank God, Allah gave me something to solve the problem. Wait, what's going on here? I'm talking too much. Why am I revealing all this to complete strangers? No, 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 no. no. We are not strangers. Uh, we are both customers of Baba Oponshoto. I mean, uh, somehow. Okay. Besides, I know you very well. You are Unisobi. <laughs> yes. I know you'll be surprised. We did our National Youth Service Program together in Chikawa State some years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not good at remembering faces. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Uh, so where are you heading for? Oh. Uh, awesome. Uh, can we give you a ride? Oh, I, I wake up. Please, never mind. Oh, please. Let me mind. I beg. You know, it's not every time you run into old friends. But you just arrived to see Baba. Oh, no, no, no. no. Come on. We're about leaving. We're about leaving. Come on, come right in. Let's drop you off. Come on, come on. It's real. How is real? Let's drop you off at home. Please feel free. Come right in. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Careful. Thank you. Yeah. No. Good afternoon. Okay. Sir, so, let's be on our way. Yeah. Yes, Salome, you said you have discovered the woman's secrets. Yes, ma. That woman is actually using something. Good. You see? I told you. Go on. I got there very early as you told me to. I eat somewhere directly opposite her shop. She arrived at the market at 7 a.m. You see? Who arrives the market at 7 a.m.? That's much earlier than everyone else arrives the market. Go on. After opening her shop, she went inside and shut herself in. For what? For what? I didn't know until... You didn't know? And you didn't wait to find out? Ha. Until I moved close to her shop, I heard her voice from inside. She was reciting incantations. My dear, why don't you allow this girl to talk? I know what she was doing. She was reciting incantations, Abby. No, ma. She was praying fervently in Jesus' name. 
I had her thanking God for keeping her alive to see another day. She also thanked God for the sale she made in her shop the previous day. After that, she went on to plead the blood of Jesus upon her shop and business. She also prayed that God will bless all our old, new, and future customers. She asked God to grant them peace. After that, she prayed that God should give her grace to relate well with every customer that came her way that day. Um, and after that, look, enough. Enough of this she prayed, she prayed. Was prayer the only thing she did? My friend, get to the point. What was, what was next after the prayer? No, ma. Actually, her prayer lasted for almost 30 minutes. When I noticed she was about rounding up the prayer, I ran back to my hiding place. She opened her shop, cleaned up, set up her goods. When her first customer arrived, around some minutes past 8 a.m., I discovered another thing. What? That woman was lively and cheerful to the customer. She had this lovely smile permanently fixed on her face. The way she related with the customer will make you think they were family members. I had her asking after the customer's family, business, well-being, and others. That was the way she related with every customer that came afterwards. By 9 a.m., there was a crowd of customers in front of our shop. They waited patiently for their turns. I joined the crowd. Then I noticed how she was attending to each customer with courtesy. When it got to my turn. Good morning, my dear young lady. Good morning, ma. What do you want to buy, please? One packet of sugar, ma. All right, just a moment. Thank you very much. We agreed on the price. Thereafter, she went inside and soon returned with the item. What she did surprised me. Sorry I took your time. No, ma. You have spent a minute, ma. Yes, but that one minute is your time, which you spent to patronize me. Thanks so much. Hope to see you some other time. Do have a great day. Amen, ma. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Mm. Mommy, the way that woman treated me, eh, it was as if I was a queen. Her voice was tender. Her approach was calm. I just love everything about that woman. Eh? Yes, ma. Huh. Oh. It's a nice place you have here. Thank you. Um, your husband and children? Um, I'm not yet married. Oh, um, God will perfect everything in his own time, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So please, make yourself comfortable. Let me get something to no, 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 no. Don't bother. Don't bother. Um, we will sit. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I know why people leave other shops to go and get stuff in that woman's shop. She's loving, lovely, and lovable. She's friendly and respectful. What are you trying to say? No! What are you trying to say? What of me? Am I not friendly, dear? Am I not nice? Am I not respectful? Talk now! Talk! Or how do I relate with customers? You started this talk. Finish it. Um. You relate with them, ma. Like one man who came yesterday morning. He said he wanted to buy a sachet of detergent. After giving him a big size, he requested for a smaller size. He said he wanted to compare the two sizes to decide on which to buy. You shouted and the man has said, Look, it is too early in the morning to be wasting our time. You should have decided on the one you want to buy from home. Since you don't know what to buy, Please go. It is too early in the morning to be wasting my time. You later told me to collect the sachet of detergent from him and to let him go. The man was embarrassed. He shook his head and left. That is the way you normally handle customers. You always shout at them. Salome. Ma. Lenwe. I'm rude, Abby. Ah. Say it. I'm rude. You are the one who asked me to. Mother. My dear, don't let this distract us from the matter at hand. Allow this girl to go, please. Um, Salome, you can go. Goodbye, ma. Goodbye, sir. Bye. <laughs> My dear, 
You don't mean it. I mean it. Baba wants to tell my biological father. <laughs> this is serious. Mm. The day we met you on our way to Baba's place, I actually took my senior friend um, to Baba for something very important. Um, what of you? Why were you at Baba's place? Hmm. It's a long story. A man proposed marriage to me some years ago. I accepted his proposal and we entered into a courtship. Everything was going very well between us. I now agree that that woman, I mean the pastor's wife, actually uses charm to attract customers. You do? Sure. It's just that our own charms are not fetish. Rather, they are spiritual and behavioral. How do you mean? Our spiritual charm is prayer, while our behavioral charm is good manners. You heard what Salome said about that woman. She said she heard her praying fervently. She also said the woman is friendly, lovely, and respectful. Salome used other glowing adjectives to describe her good manners. You see, nothing charms people as much as good manners. Hmm. So, I went to collect a charm from Baba to destroy his marriage. Ah. Have you used the charm? I used it early this morning. And I'm sure the man's marriage is doomed for collapse. I went back to Baba to collect another charm to fortify myself against any possible backfire. And that was when he saw me this morning. Hmm. Can I tell you something? Uh, please forgive my choice of words. It is unfortunate that um, you are one of those still keeping Baba in that evil business of his. How do you mean? I am a child of God because I'm born again. For many years now, I've been preaching to my father to accept Jesus and forsake his evil ways. Sadly, Baba has remained obstinate. I took my senior friend, um, Pastor B, to Baba yesterday um, to preach to him, um, believing that if Baba hears the gospel from a neutral person, he would um, listen and hacking. Um, unfortunately, Baba chased us out of his shrine. Hmm. Can I tell you another thing? This will shock you. You were the one who led me to Christ many years ago. It was during our orientation camp in Jigawa State. Do you remember the popular Sheibanga on camp then? Yes. That was my nickname back then. One day, after our early morning drill, you sought my permission to speak to me. Honestly, I agreed to listen to you because I saw it as a privilege for a beautiful young lady to seek my permission to speak to me. I never knew you were going to preach to me that day. You started by introducing yourself as Sister Eunice Obi. By the end of the discussion, which lasted barely 15 minutes, my eyes were opened to the vanity and the wayward life I was living back then. In tears, I surrendered my life to Jesus. It is unfortunate that a lot of people, through prayers, hard work, dedication, favors and what have you, manage to get to the top in life. But their bad manners will bring them down sooner or later. And for some, in spite of their prayers and hard work, they never rise in life because of their bad manners. Some have lost opportunities, relationships, favors, marriages, due to bad manners. We rounded off the NYC orientation and left camp two days after that encounter. But that glorious experience never left me. I continued to grow in the Lord and I've remained in Him till date. 
Thank you, Jesus. So I was very surprised. Uh, no, very shocked when I saw you coming out from the shrine of an herbalist. I wondered what could have turned a preacher of the gospel to a customer of an herbalist. I'm still confused. Sister Eunice, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> My dear, when it comes to human relationships, there is no charm that works like soft words and good manners. We must learn to relate well with people. The Bible says, a man who has friends must show himself friendly. But dear, some people can be so difficult to relate with. They are so nasty and relating with them is like a headache. That is who they are. Mm. Nasty and difficult. But you are of a different breed. You are a child of God. You are friendly and accommodating. See, you need to exhibit who you are, not minding who they are. God will help me. Amen. Pray God will help me. Amen, my dear. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please say it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My sister, I congratulate you for this divine restoration and deliverance. But for the deliverance to be complete, you must forgive the man whom you said jilted you some years ago mm -hmm. and uh, release him from your heart. Are you ready to do this? <laughs> yes, sir. Good. Now, what is the man's name? Uh, Adirola Williams. What? Adirola? Where does he live? Ibado. The two of you met in the university? Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Pastor, what is it? <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> this is serious. Brother Adirola Williams, I'm very sorry for putting you and your wife through so much pain. Sister Eunice, I'm also very sorry for breaking your heart some years ago. I forgive you from the very depth of my heart. As from today, I no longer hold anything against you. Thank you. Thank you very much. But sir, what about the negative what she spoke to me through the phone call? Just as I told you when you reported the phone call to me, you see, the words she spoke are null and void, absolutely of no effect, because the one who matters most, that is God Almighty, has spoken concerning us. He said, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against uh, Israel. So at every point in time, that which is spoken by God overrides that which is spoken by man. That is, in as much as we live and walk according to God's will. Uh, in any case, uh, Brother Williams, for your mind to be at rest, and for you, Sister Eunice, for you to have a total release in your heart, you will now reverse what you said to him. Okay? Okay, sir. Very good. Please go ahead. Adirola Williams, your marriage will not crash. The water of your marriage will settle. Ah, 
Now it will settle. It will settle very, very, very well. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> amen. So amen. we thank God for everything. Yeah, so please let us pray. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm sorry, Brother Dan. I don't understand what you're trying to say. The last time you and I saw or heard from each other was a long time ago. Right. You now called and said... I said, God spoke to me about you some months ago. He told me you are his marital will for me. I must confess, I was very excited. But as expected, I kept praying just to be very sure I heard him correctly. When I was sure two months ago, I picked my phone to call to share my conviction with you. But the Holy Spirit told me not to. He said you were no longer available. I thought what that meant was that you were already married. The Holy Spirit said you were still single, but not ready. He said he was waiting for you to do the needful. The needful? What? He didn't tell me. But just about two hours ago, the Holy Spirit ministered to my spirit. He told me you are now ready. That I should go ahead and speak to you. Sister, please. Please, will you marry me? Hello? Hello. Sister Eunice, you heard all I said? Yes, I did. Well, I really don't expect you to give me an answer here and now. The same God who is my father is yours too. I know you need to hear him and know his mind on this matter. Please take your time and pray to him. Okay. Okay, brother, and I will. Do have a blessed day. Bye for now. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Gather it up again Let my flesh rule me 